And then of course we have the little grave watcher over here interrupting with her loud, whoa, what in the heck? She was mad that I wasn't paying attention, so she looked up at me. I'm sorry, miss. Holy crap, guys, over the past month, I have filmed Spirit Halloween stores in at least 15 states on my way to covering the entire country. Today, we are in Billings, Montana. There's a bee trying to get me, and I have orange stuff all over my shirt because I just bought an orange hoodie that I tried on in the Fat Guy store. Nonetheless, we are going into this Spirit Halloween, which is located inside Rimrock Mall. I don't think I've ever heard another mall with a cooler name. All right, I don't know exactly. Oh, okay, I do know exactly where it is. Holy crap, look, we have the ginormous ghost face right out front. Even though he's black and the ghost is white, he immediately reminds me of the Luna ghost on the Scooby-Doo movie. Bubba, is that you? I don't know who that is, but he's in a store called Doggy Style gourmet treats and barkery. How cool is this, guys? Look at this, okay. Not only do they have the enormous 12-foot ghost face inflatable setup outside, they also have this guy, and look who we have blown up right here. It's the enormous 20-foot snake inflatable. Hello, sir, so very nice to see you in person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, look how long and squiggly he is. He's actually a lot thinner than I expected him to be. I thought he would be a little fatter all the way through his body, but I do like this kind of archway that it makes over here because you could put something spooky right in there. Like, wouldn't it be cool if you had Bubba and you set him up right behind this archway in the snake and like Bubba's head jumped right out at you there? All right, before we go in, let's just take a look at this ginormous ghost face right here. Because I can tell you guys, having this blown up right here puts it so much more into perspective when you're thinking about spending the money on this guy. I mean, you know he's huge when you're just looking at the box, but when you're standing under him and next to him, you can see just how huge he is. What in the heck? Did you see that girl like stomp away? I had to hide my camera over there in the corner and lean it up against that wall to get the picture of me by the giant ghost face. Look, just the pumpkin down here is enormous. And look at the legs. This guy is huge. All right, guys, let's go ahead in and see what we can find at this Spirit Halloween in Billings, Montana. And by the way, this used to be a Her Burgers. Hmm, I could go for some burgers right now. Look at this, right inside the store, we have these guys. Poor George, who is in suspended animation right here. But we do have three of them available for sale. We have Desmodus here, take 35% off, display only, wings do not pop up, as is. So you could get him and call the zombie squad and probably get him fixed. But if you decided just to buy him, here are two of them available. And as the retail buff that I am, look at this guys, I noticed Toys R Us carts. What the heck? They have Toys R Us carts in here. Guys, I am loving this store. Not only is it hopping with people today, I mean it is a Saturday. I noticed they have other inflatables set up as well as lots of animatronics. Lots of animatronics on the floor to buy. But let's go ahead and say hello to Mrs. Leatherface. Hello. What in the heck? He looks a lot more puffed out than usual. What have you been eating, sir? We're gonna leave you a couple of stickers here. We have Papa Pins going over here. And look right beside Papa Pins, we have two, is it two? We have at least one Emmeline for sale here. And yes, there are two. On the other side, there's another one. And there's a Papa Pins, AKA Stilts, right here. I am loving how busy this store is right now, guys. All the sounds and a little bit of chaos. It's not too chaotic, but there's a little bit of chaos going on. And I just knocked over Chucky, holy crap. Come here, Chucky, let's set you back up here. There you go, let's give you a couple stickers for the inconvenience. Let's just walk around the Spirit Hallow Cemetery, guys, and take a look at all the action happening around here. We can see that the Martian is going. We can see that the Widow is going. There are people inside the crypt enjoying Dagger Mike. Watch this, let's see what happens. 
Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Here we go. We're going to catch this on film here. Here we go. Watch this. Maybe he's not working. What the heck? Okay, they didn't know exactly how to do it. But we're going to show you. We're going to put some stickers in there. And there he is. This is too funny, guys. There are so many people in here, like, getting scared by the animatronics right now. <laughs> Dagger Mike just got her. How cool is that? Hello, sir. We're going to leave you a sticker in your popcorn bag there. Okay, let's come on over here and see the widow. They do have a widow for sale on the floor here. Let's get her going. I want to hear that crack. Come on, lady. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's keep on moving here, guys. I do want to come over to the other side here, though, and take a look. Wait a minute, we have heckles. We have heckles in Montana. Hello, heckles. Come on, heckles, there you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, it's so loud in here, you can't even hear him. But look at the balloon. The balloon is working perfectly. And look what we have here, guys. We have the inflatable Reaper, as of which you guys know that I already own, but he looks enormous in the store here. All right, look at this. We have three straw mans over here. These things are like everywhere in this store. I love this. We have one, two, three young Crouchies right here. Here. And look, we have two Mr. Punchies. What the heck? If he was set up, we would hear him say bad words. Let's leave a sticker for Straw Man, and we'll leave a sticker for Crouchy. All right, let's make our way back here. Look at this, guys. I cannot believe how many props they have from, like, last year. Look at this. We have three hot nozzles here. We have two shorties. All right, we're going to say hi to all these animatronics over here in a second, but let's keep on moving and see what else we have. We have a howling spirit right here. Whoa, holy crap, guys. Look at what else we have blown up here. It is the enormous Pennywise. What the heck? He is so much bigger than I ever expected he would be. Look at this, I can barely even get back far enough to show you his whole body from head to toe because he is so huge. I think he's 12 feet tall, but man, he looks more like 15. And have we seen these Nightmare Before Christmas slippers yet? I don't know if I've seen these. We got Jack and Sally on there. All right, we got a ton of jumping spiders over here. We have three eternal rests. We have a couple of little skelly bones here. Let's go over and say hello to our jumping spider. What in the world? Look at that. It's the cauldronist. The first time I've seen her set up in any store, guys. We're gonna come back to her in a second, but let's say hello to our jumping spider first. Good job, sir. And someone called me out for not petting the jumping spider. <laughs> We're also going to leave you a sticker, sir. All right, let's come on over here because there's a lot of people in here. Let's take a look at the hex spawn here. Hello, Mr. Evil. Mr. Evil, are you going to work? Mr. Evil is not working. Oh, I see. Okay, I was just told that he is their last hex spawn and they don't want him to get broken, so they have him unplugged right now. Nah, 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 nah. Let's see if we can get the howling spirit going, though. Come on, Mr. Howler. There he is. He's not very loud in here. Some stores here are so absolutely loud, I have to plug my ears. Not really, but it sounded good. Let's see if the gargoyle works. Mr. Gargoyle, come on. What the heck? I wanted to see your red eyes. Okay, we have eternal rest here, 50% off. This one only. It's probably because of the head spinning. All right, don't worry. We're making our way over to the cauldronist, guys. All right, we got Darling Dolly here. Let's see if we can catch somebody get scared. Watch this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. She didn't get scared. What the heck? <laughs> you are a tough one. You didn't even get scared. All right, let's go ahead and get a head-on view of Darling Dolly here, because even I get scared of Darling Dolly. All right, Dolly, you are the best ever. Okay, wait, let's get over here quick, guys, because there's nobody around the cauldron. Us. Look, there are arms in the cauldron here. Let's get a look at her face real quick. What the heck? That is a creepy looking face right there. All right, let's see if we can get her going. Dish, okay. Arm is moving like she's stirring. Is she supposed to have something in her hand like a stirring mechanism or something? I hear her, but she's so quiet that we can't hear what she's saying. And then of course we have the little grave watcher over here interrupting with her loud, whoa, what in the heck? 
She was mad that I wasn't paying attention, so she looked up at me. I'm sorry, miss. Please don't take my toes for your stew. That seriously was creepy when she looked up at me. I did not expect that. Okay, let's see if we can get Mr. Skelly going here. Here he comes. All right, come on, Skelly, come on. Here we go, Mr. Skelly. Oh my gosh, guys. It is super busy in here today. And look what I see over here. Another talking doll that I have not seen in many, if any, stores this season. It is Hugs. Come on, Hugs. Maybe he has one of those things you have to pull. Look at this. One, two, three. They have three. They have four Hugs in here. What the heck? I don't think I've seen him in one store, but they have four of them here. Hello, rat. Hook Eye Guy, Double Head Fred, Heart of Death, Brain of Death, Intestines of Death. We have creeping cats up here. We have more Hello Rats. We have Scabs and a secret keeping cat. And we have plenty of carrots here. Hello, carrot. Let's put you right up here beside your best friend forever. Wait a minute, what the heck is this? This. It's like a octo skeleton or a scallopus. <laughs> what the heck should we call this thing? Is that its hair? It's a skull with a plethora of tentacles. What in the world? Guys, I forgot. Today is officially the first day of fall, too. And it is cold and spooky outside. The perfect first day of fall and the perfect day to be out shopping for awesome Halloween goodness at the Spirit Halloween store. Oh my gosh, I was just about to say, let's look at the fleece blankets and see if there's any that I haven't seen. And here is one right here. It is a Willy Wonka reversible plush throw. Look at that, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. All kinds of fruit on there. And this one says, we are the music makers and we are the dreamers dreams. Hmm, okay. That is pretty cool. I like all the colors in there. It looks so 70s. I don't think there's any other ones on this side that I haven't seen except for maybe the Harry Potter one up here. And I'm pretty sure we've seen all of them on this side as well except for maybe this trick-or-treat one here with Sam. That's pretty cool. All right, that brings us back to the middle here. I don't even think we've been on this side of the store yet except for to see these animatronics right over here. What in the world is a Yeetus hammer? All right, let's see if we have a Glenn over here. We have Sitting Sam, we have Anna Ball, we have plenty of Chuckies, but no Glens. Let's leave some stickers for the side steppers here, and we'll leave one for this little Sam. Oh, they do have the three pack of haunted side steppers. I see we have some tiny terrors here. We have Leatherface and Sam and Ghostface, but no Pennywise. Do we have a burrito baby? Baby. No, we don't. I am so surprised I cannot find a burrito baby in stores this season. Let's leave a couple stickers for these guys anyways. I wonder why the moths come off of this guy so easily. Maybe they're just like glued on there and people pull on them or something. Let's leave him a sticker. He deserves one because he lost his moths. All right, somebody asked me to look at the Beetlejuice stuff, so let's go ahead and do that. I can see we have the headstone down here flashing already. That's pretty cool. We got a whole wall of Beetlejuice right here, including the lid sidesteppers. Let's leave her a sticker. We have Zagnuts. We have these little shelf sitters here. We have Beetlejuice trays, a small one and a bigger one. Beetlejuice cups and mugs and bowls. And then we have this door knocker here, which is pretty cool. More cups and mugs and bowls and plates over here. We have a soup mug with a spoon, which is pretty cool. Beetlejuice Monopoly, the Beetlejuice sign with the arrow. We have a Beetlejuice plush throw up here. The giant sandworm groundbreaker. We got the sandworm plush here, the Barbara plush. We have Miss Argentina plush over here. We have some mirrors here with Adam and Barbara on them. A tablecloth, a couple things you just put on your walls. And of course we have a couple of Beetlejuice plush over here. We have Lydia here, and then we have Beetlejuice himself. This is actually a pretty cool plush right here. I love the green color on his hair. And let's come back here for a minute, guys, because somebody told me that I look too fast 
just at the masks in here. So here's your look at the masks. <laughs> Seriously though, it's always somebody who stops by and watches like two of my videos and then they're like, you never look at this stuff. When in fact, I have looked at these masks literally hundreds of times, guys. I have hundreds of Spirit Halloween videos on this channel. I will say though, here is one that I have not seen. A Rob Zombie mask with long, disgusting hair. <laughs> and I can't help but look again at the evil corn. That's gonna be my favorite mask I've found this season that I didn't buy. I do like the googly eye clown though, he's pretty cool. Oh, here's a fogging skull pile over here that's actually working right now. So you can see how it's flashing inside. And when you add fog to that, the fog flashes, that is pretty cool. And beside him is some cauldrons, so let's leave some stickers in each of these. Let's leave some stickers for Carrot and Scabs and the Secret Keeping Cat. And let's leave some in the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, and one in the skull. All right, guys, this has been one pretty dang awesome store. Let's take one more walk around, just see if anything else pops out at us that I did not notice that maybe we have not seen before. Hello, sir, and 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 sir. All right, let's keep going this way. Oh, I missed these inflatable fellows over here. We have a pumpkin stack and a gargoyle. All right, making our way through here, we have Billy Butcherson's head, Corpse Bride plush, and I think that's about it, guys. This was a pretty dang awesome store. And Chucky's bucket is empty, so let's give him some more stickers. And we'll give my very last stickers to the sitting scarecrow. Ah! Guys, before we go, if you come down to the Spirit Halloween, make sure you come across the hall from the Spirit to a store called Go Calendars and More. Look at this. They have all kinds of awesome collectible horror toys. This is just a small section right here. Look at this. We have this Frankenstein by NECA. That is pretty awesome. Look at this Pennywise. He is so creepy. And of course, I have to look at the Freddy Krueger. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. There's such a reflection on here. You'd actually have to just come in here and see it for yourself. This one's from Nightmare 2. This one's from Nightmare 3. And look, he has his chest piece, but he also has his sweater. That is awesome. Awesome. <laughs>